If you want all the latest news of NBA 2K and also NBA in general, you should follow me on my Twitter account at PackHoopsYT. Not only that, I do giveaways all the time when it comes to VC, games, and also even consoles. So check it out, follow me, and see you there. Que pasa to the pack? It is pack here. Believe it or not, I have more NBA 2K22 news for you guys today. I didn't make any news video yesterday. We got a bunch of news yesterday, so I'm going to round that all up in today in another video. Before this video starts, please be an OG, join the pack, and subscribe. I know it's annoying to hear every single video, but it helps the channel out a lot. Help us get to 300,000 subscribers. That'd be clutch of you. And leave a like on the video because seriously, leaving a like on the video is everything for a video and it needs to help it grow. So please leave a like, okay? So... First things first, and the easily the most important thing is we got direct news from NBA 2K22, and it is about when we're getting the news. It is a schedule. So there's three weeks until the game comes out, right? And this is how they're going to break it down. So the week of August 23rd, which is the week we're currently on, we get the season's information that we got today, and I broke that all down in the last video. You should check it out. Really crazy stuff, really good information. I get excited about the season stuff because it's it's looking like it's something first of all it's something that we asked for and and like second it's just like exciting that we're getting something new and then WNBA stuff we should be getting that either tomorrow or the day after I'm okay with it listen man I, I'm just happy that they have something for a crowd that likes it and believe it or not people did use it not a lot of people but people did play the W right so there's that okay so those are two things that we're getting for that week. The next week, which is August 30th, that week, we get actual gameplay. Freaking finally, bro. Uh, it's sad that we're getting gameplay less than two weeks before the game comes out, but whatever. And my team information. No matter what you say, my team was easily the most successful game mode in next gen this year. So all the my team fans are going to be really happy with that one. And I'm looking going to be trying my team out this year too. It'll be fun, right? So we get gameplay. We get my team W's for both ends of that. And then the final week, which is insane, by the way, that we have to wait to the final week, the final four days to get news about the city and my career. Bro, why are we waiting so long for this information? And my NBA, which only like a couple people in the community care about. No offense. It's a, you know, I play it too, but it's just like compared to the city of my career where we're begging for information, guys, like we're begging for stuff that we haven't seen like the graphics or the gameplay. We haven't seen how the park looks. We haven't seen how park gameplay is going to be. Nothing. We're gonna have to wait four days till the game comes out to see it. That is the craziest schedule they've ever come up with the 2K stuff. So that, that's that's why they got people worried. And, a, and trending yesterday, a lot of people were talking about, is this game delayed? So here I'm with uh, King of the Fourth Quarter. He tweets, if NBA 2K22 got pushed back, I wouldn't be mad that it got pushed back. But I'd be mad that they waited last minute to tell us. And I have to agree with that. There's a lot of games out there that, that you know, they, they announced that they get pushed back. Like, it's very common. Uh, Dying Light 2, they they pushed it back for a long time and now it finally came out. Uh, another game, Cyberpunk 2077, that got pushed back a lot. And people were really upset about that one, but they were pushing back for a reason because that game was not ready, bro. It wasn't. And then another game, you guys probably don't remember this one, but I played Gran Turismo, well, I wanted to play Gran Turismo 5 for years and they delayed that game for like eight years, right? And they finally released it and it was cool and all, right? In my opinion, the reason why the news is taking so long to come out is because they're working on two games at the same time. So the game isn't exactly, like they're still probably working on it today, right? Like the game is not ready. It's not like other years where they just release the games cause like they barely touch them up every year. They have to work on two games at the same time. And if they had just made one game together on both consoles, we wouldn't be having this problem. But because they're making two games, I expect both these games have a lot of problems and they're delaying the news. But the game is not going to be delayed. I, I, I'd be really surprised if they waited the last week to tell us, hey guys, guess what? It's not ready. So they said September 10th and I'm going to believe them. But a lot of people think this game is going to be delayed. We'll see what happens soon. Now we have NBA 2K tweeting about Kobe. It was, it was Mamba Day yesterday and there was a screenshot of Kobe in NBA 2K22. Here's also a screen comparison or a graphics comparison of last year and this year. Not a massive change, but I do think it looks a little bit better. Overall, I, you know, it looks like Kobe. It looks great. I miss the mama to this day. 
one of the greatest players of all time. And rating wise, I'm going to assume he's going to be a 98 overall all time. That makes him the most, like the most sense to me, right? Like I think that's where he deserves to be as a player echelon wise, right? So now a pretty controversial thing that happened was the WWE 2K22 release a trailer of their new game. And I know a lot of you were like, oh, I mean, who cares? It's a 2K game. Like we're getting around that point of the year. I mean, they should be releasing their trailer, right? Their game comes out in March 2020. That is literally, guys, seven months away. We are three weeks away from the new 2K, and we don't have a trailer, bro. How is that real? Like, how is that? Like, think about what I just said. How is that real? That's why a lot of people are scared. That a lot of people think this game is gonna be delayed because this is the same 2K and and Take Two are the same company when they when they work on WWE and 2K22 for NBA, and they release this trailer seven months before release. Something is wrong. It's sketchy. It's sketchy, man. I I'm starting to get worried a little bit too. There is no way that this is the case. This is very annoying. I gotta be honest, this is annoying me as much as, it's probably annoying all of you. Joe Knows tweets something about gameplay that's pretty true. He says, not gonna lie, the news today had me excited for NBA 2K22, but as always, it's gonna come down to execution. Hopefully the gameplay and builder provide the variety and balance we need to enjoy grinding the new season's reward system. Right? So he's saying, listen, man, like the seasons are cool and all, like I like the idea of like, you know, having more content throughout the year, but if the gameplay is dog water, like it was this year, especially for next gen, we're not gonna wanna play it anyways. And again, it'll help me play a game I don't like if there's a reward system for it, which there is now, but it doesn't change the fact that if the game is, is the gameplay wise is as bad as it was this year, it's definitely gonna be hard to keep wanting to play it, even if there's an incentive. I'm telling you that right now. It cannot be just poster, poster, poster all over again this year and nobody's missing a shot. Like, I need to be able to play defense this year. I have to, because it's just gonna make me not want to play this game at all. And last thing that I was thinking about, about the seasons and about getting to level 40, is how long is it going to take us to get to level 40? Because if there's changing it every six weeks, right? The season. That means that getting to level 40 is, because they consider getting to level 40 like getting to legend, right? How much games or how many games, how much work am I have to go, like gonna have to put in to get to level 40? That's That sounds like a lot of work. And I mean, obviously like that's how it is with Legend, but like most battle passes, like getting the top rank at a battle pass is like pretty easy as long as you play the game every day. In 2K, you can play 2K every day and not get Legend, not even be close to Legend. So how hard am I gonna have to grind for the level 40? That's a little worrisome to me, but we'll have to wait and see. What do you guys think about all these pieces of information? Do you think 2K22 is going to be delayed? Leave it in the comments below. If you like the channel, please give it a sub. And I'll see you guys next time.